that's worrying. <laughs>
can see the mileage reports as well. Carvel Gold has sponsored this video. All links and details in the video's description. So whilst Matt is doing a Q&A on the stage, we might as well head over to his stand to see the brand new car that he has revealed this weekend. But before we go there, we're going to go to this. I don't think I've seen this car before. This is his twin turbo Lamborghini Gallardo looking beautiful in his own custom flooring as well. It looks impeccably clean in that black with tinted windows as well, got the bronze wheels, but just behind it is the new project which looks a little difficult. I respect what Matt does because I could not do anything like this. I'm looking at the new project. This is a G80 BMW M3 and from um, about this angle it looks fine but you've got airbags that have gone off all around. The front is crumpled. Even a bit of impact up there. We've got some smash headlights, some scraping around the front. We'll come around to the front the other side in a bit. But on the rear is where the first piece of impact happened. It looks like it slid into a pole and that ricocheted the front of the car round and we'll see that in a little bit. So you've got the wheels, they are curved and destroyed, but that is a structure that I wouldn't even know how to start to repair. Straightening the chassis, that is incredible. A 2022 BMW M3 with that much damage around the rear. It's been because this car is not being ran. I'm going to try and avoid people's videos. You can see more airbags have gone off. The engine looks slightly intact. Can't really see. And around the front, we have that snout, which is uh, completely destroyed. The nostrils are bigger than ever. So it's definitely hit the wall at the front as well as the pole at the rear. And this is the new project for the channel. Hopefully we'll get a bit more intel from Matt later on in the day. But let's see what else is in the show. Obviously they've recognized that yellow is the best color. We've got the Forge Motorsport Golf looking just as beefy as ever. And a Jaguar F-Type bringing Neons back. And neighboring the remote control car drifting section, we have the GTR Owners Club with an R32, R33 GTR, a liveried R32 GTR race car, R34 GTR in yellow, various R35 and a Hakusuka GTR as well. But as well as modified Skylines, we've got modified supercars as well. Ferrari F12 Berlinetta with those deep disc wheels, a lot of carbon around it, as well as an Aventador down the road from it. This one, an Aventador SV, who is white weaning the world. But for even more JDM whips, we have a Toyota Chaser JZX100. This one, finished in brown, is a drift car. And a lot of people are paying attention to the engine, which is a LS V8. You've got the LSXR and a massive Pro Charger attached to it. I've seen this drifting many times. It sounds incredible, looks incredible. And neighbors, another JZX, this one, a Toyota Mark II. But in contrast to that, there's a McLaren Mercedes SLR with the Auto Blogs McLaren next to it, a Hurricane STO, and another A12, and another G80 M3. This one in far better shape than the one that Matt Armstrong has just bought. Look at that gorgeous rear corner. That's how it should look and will look once Matt has finished with his one. But behind is this rather suspicious looking R8. Take a look at these above where the engine lies. They are for two superchargers. It's the twin supercharged Audi R8, hence the number plate R8 Sup. And her hair matches her trousers. No, no, her trousers match her hair. I think that was the way around she did it. And beyond that, we have a Millennium Jade four-door R34 with an RB26. Someone up and slams! <laughs> Ford 
Puma rally car that's just been revealed as well. But after a day of looking around the entire show, most of the people have gone home, apart from one gentleman stood in front of me, Matt himself. So, we're back. The G80. The G80. What happened here? Was there a post or a poll? Do you know much about how it happened? It was in the news. Oh, really? And uh, a young lad. I think he took it out on a prom night, I think it was. Yeah. Um, and didn't come back in it because he crashed into a house. Oh, yes, I remember this. Yes, yeah, I he, saw the pictures. He went into someone's living room. Yes. Um, took the rear quarter, as you yep. can see, and a lot of the front end. Wow. It's pretty bad. It is. I would not know where to start with this. I guess straightening the chassis is yeah. top priority right now. Yeah, it's pretty, and the good thing, the door, Still closed. Oh wow! Because this, I looked at the doors. This one doesn't look too bad. You probably have to double check no, it. The but door looks sound. It does. The gap's a bit off. It is a little bit. The doors, the <laughs> door sound, and the boot lid. It pops open. The so a tiny it's, little bit of scratch. Yeah. That is literally it. But other than that, like the rear lights intact. Yeah. The boot floor is not so bad. It's just over here. It's there, it's yeah. Bad. But it's really, it looks a lot worse than it is. But saying that. It's not just a rear quarter replacement. No. This has like gone so far in yeah. that it's structural. And I've always wanted to do something this bad because then it gives me sort of like a bit more knowledge. Shut up! The show is closed. She wants us to go home. We're working here. She's really drilling it in. Okay, there we go. There we go. Rear window. Yep. And smashed. Okay. There might be people watching the video and then like might watch mine as well and say, well that's not safe to repair. But I think we can repair it. Yeah. There's no reason why we can't. Everything seems bent from maybe here. Yeah. And then so if we can put on a straight bit backwards, yeah. can't see the issue. And the good thing as well, is this video sponsored by By Carverse Car. By Carver it may well be. You know, this car, <laughs> it's unrecorded. Is it really? Unrecorded wow. damage. Because but you, you're kind of recording it a little bit by putting it on your very popular channel. Yeah, I channel. think I've ruined it. And like, <laughs> yeah, like, I've ruined it, but if you do check it out, it yeah. does have a clean history. Perfect. And the reason being yeah. is because I think the guy was on trade insurance and didn't claim through the insurance. So because they haven't claimed through the insurance, it's not categorised the car. Yeah. This has been hit, pulled away and done. I don't know how the house has got repaired. Right, I yeah. I don't really know on that. Interior looks all right other than every airbag. Can I, can I just show you this? Look. Oh wow, it's still got the um. It's still the, got the, the carpet covers and still. Oh wow, it's basically a brand new car. Four thousand miles. Wow. Four thousand miles. The only thing does have the buckets. Yeah. Don't have the bucket seats. So. Are you going to modify it at all once it's all? Oh yeah. A little bit of classic Mount Armstrong vibes. We need some modification. I'm keeping the colour though. Okay, I yeah. Like the colour. It's a unique colour. Red cars are faster. Maybe it's oh, it's a little bit of orange as well. A little bit of orange. Uh, yeah. If, if I'm red, then you can see the difference between red and orange. Right there. Uh, the front end. It's also perished. Yeah. It's unalived itself. <laughs> Little so bits of the house in the um, or oh gravel. Yeah, yeah. The insulation. Oh, in yeah, it is, isn't it? Insulation from the wall. <laughs> That's quite cool. Um, and it's got. This is X drive. So you really, so like, it's got. You think it'd be uncrashable? Yeah. Four drive. How Depends how young the person is, but yeah. The best angle is from here. Just I, I like that. You can see it's got rear wheel steering. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Does it run though? Does the engine start and I don't know. you don't know? I've never had it running. You haven't. Can't get it out of park. Oh, I see. So it's literally stuck. So yeah. I don't know whether it runs. I'm not sure whether it drives yet. We may have found out in my video. I don't know yet. But as from this date now, yeah. I don't know any. Of oh, yeah. We're recording this weeks before you've dropped your video and weeks before I've dropped mine. So, so I, we don't I, know. I don't know. But I really love the look of them. During these cars, when they first come out, everyone hated that sort of. Like, it's growing on people, I think. I, know, I yeah. do like it. There's a different front end you can get, which yeah. I think I'm going to get. I think it needs a new front end. Something yeah. a bit slight there. A <laughs> little slide. bit. But, add on, this side. Yeah. Let me go over here. Oh, yeah. I think I approached it initially from this side and I thought, oh, why have you bought this? It looks good. It's fine. It's had a bit of a crumple in airbags. So it looks okay from this side. And one thing that, like, I think I got confused about, I think it has 20 inch wheels on the back. Right. And then it has 19s on 19s the front. 19s on the front, but a four wheel drive car for that. Yeah. Was like a, a no no. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, know, I don't know. I clearly not. Oh, Maybe that's why it crashed. I've noticed something. Oh, look, a bit of leakage. Oh, that's oil. Is it pure oil or is it mixed? Uh, <laughs> I think it's just the oil. Yeah. That's quite a lot. Uh, is, it, is it on the floor? No, you get, oh, you've got a 
It hasn't leaked all the way through, so there's not that much. So the, the Okay, that's worrying. It's not a bit worrying. <laughs> I guess we'll find out. I think the bonnet's still... That's just another video for the series, that's all it is. But this is going to be a new challenge. Yeah. I think we're actually going to call in a little bit of help as well. Yeah. Um, Jack, Freddy's body Oh, yes, man. yes. He is extremely knowledgeable about body repair and stuff like that. Yes. So we're going to steal him yeah. for our... Fly video. him over. Yeah, and then we're going to have some help on the rear quarter with him. So then at least we've got some expertise and we're going in the right kind of direction. Yeah. Where are we starting it? I don't know. But, yeah, it's definitely going to be a good one. I can't wait to drive it because... My M5 was okay, but it's just a bit boaty, but M3s are meant to yes, be definitely, really yeah. fun. I can't wait to drive it. Well, I'm going to give you good luck. I'm not saying you necessarily need it, but <laughs> you're levelling up with this one. That's it. As I said, when I first came round, I saw it, I thought, oh, it's, it's, it's a bit crumpled. And then you go to the rear and you realise, yeah, yeah. that's bad. And obviously it's a known car as well, so it's good. I like it. I think it's going to do well. We'll see. Well, best of luck. I love the Lambo. Thank you. And uh, enjoy the rest of your day. See you in a bit. Thank you very see much. You so thanks to Matt for letting me know more about the M3, the oil was from the oil cooler at the front, so nothing to worry about. I have got a two hour drive in this car, in the cold, in the dark. I've got more layers to put on. We're going to pack the bear away. The police are just leaving as well. Why did I bring this car? People liked it though, so that's, that's positive. But two hours in this, it's not nice. I've got hat, scarf, gloves, jacket. Cars are trying to come in, cars are trying to get out, the police are trying to leave. They're trying to leave. I probably need to start up so I can leave. I need fuel. And the 812 is still revving for everyone. Come on. Come on. This is not a mistake. There. Into the darkness and into the coals. Oh, I've got all the rally cars and touring cars. That's cool. Oh. Oh. I can, I can fit under that, genuinely. I'm not actually that cold. I've got a thermal layer on, got my hat, got gloves, two layers of gloves. I should be fine. I love you, Adam, Thank you. Ah, pit stop. Not a bad sight. <laughs> R34 GTR, RB25 in the Datsun, got the Honda NSX, Cobras there, Scott's 360, bit of vantage. You all look very warm and cosy. Yeah. yeah. You know, Adam, I've got heated seats in my car. You've got heated seats? And the roof. If I had egg, I might be able to provide a momentary heated seat, um, but no. We've just come out because it was a bit hot in the car. Was it? Cool was it? it? I had to turn my heat down. You, you had to turn it down. Yeah. Very good. How are you getting on? I'm, I'm a little bit, little bit cold. I might have to, I don't know. <laughs> it's an Adam Seaman. It's an Adam Seaman. It's perfect. Amazing! And the R34! <laughs> Flames in a petrol station, probably not advisable. Well, days! <laughs> You're not used to that! <laughs> Amazing. Right, back into the coldness. Oh, why do I do this? Oh. Come on, there we go. So we cruise back together, me, the Channel Stradale, the V8 Vantage, various flybys and bits of fun down the road. The Cobra behaved itself all the way home, even found the R34 GTR, gave him a flyby, Toyota Mark II, quite a few of the cars still from the NEC, and it was quite a blast in all of the cars. So the Cobra's home safely. So that was the NEC's Auto Sports Show for 2024. Thanks to Matt Armstrong for giving us time to talk about his new project. I uh, hope you enjoyed that video. Um, Adam Seafest tickets are in the video's description if you want to see this car, amongst others. But for now, oh, thanks for watching. So